Hello gorgeous people, how are you doing today? Uh, hopefully pretty well. I myself have been feeling a pretty heavy weight on my shoulders um, just with all the changes with the pandemic and regular life and depending on when you're watching it maybe you're healing too, this too. So this week I decided to do a really simple and gentle yin practice to open up the neck the shoulders, the front of the chest, and concentrate on the breath. So all you need is a couple of blocks and yourself. Um, before you start the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, follow me on social media at Maddie Likes to Move. And if you have been practicing with me for a while, maybe think about subscribing to my Patreon. There's lots of great benefits, and I'm working on some special stuff for the Patreon members. And otherwise, grab a couple blocks, maybe some hot tea or water, and we will see you on your mat. So you can start in Sukhasana, a comfortable seated position. And close the eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Deep breath in. Full One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And taking just one more deep breath in. Full breath out. So you breathe in, circle your arms towards the ceiling. Place the palms together in Anjali Mudra. And as you exhale, bring your thumbs to your forehead, your lips, your heart. And take a moment to set an intention or make a dedication for your practice. And gently fluttering your eyes open, the first position of this class is going to be Balasana, child's pose. So you can bring your knees hip distance apart, toes touch together. Let your hips sink down towards your heels. And if they don't quite make it, just place a blanket behind the back of your knees. And then sliding down onto your belly. Extend your arms forward and allow your forehead to relax down. And taking another deep breath in. Full breath out. Deep breath in. Full breath out. One more time. And exhale. Then allow yourself to sink in a little deeper. Feel the expansiveness of your lungs your ribs, your diaphragm on the inhale and just notice the way that your body relaxes and rests down on the exhale. And allowing yourself to rest deeply here. Just allow yourself a slow rhythmic breath Try to let everything sink away. Remembering that thoughts come and go. Just like waves move in and out of the ocean. Or clouds through the sky. No need to grasp or push away. Just watching them as they move through.
And then gently walking your hands inwards. Find your way up to hands and knees, bringing wrists underneath shoulders and knees underneath hips. Take a couple cat cows, just warming up your spine and feel free to circle your shoulders round your back. Bring yourself anything that you might need. And allowing yourself just a little bit of space to move in a different way. See if you can shift your hips to one side and press into opposite hand. And then the other side. And we're going to be on our hands and knees for a while. So if you need any support underneath the knees, just feel free to take that. And then from here, we're going to bring our left palm slightly forward and slide our right arm underneath us towards the left. Allow yourself to lower down onto the side of the arm and let the side of the head relax. You can shift your body forward and backward a little bit until you find that sweet spot. And then gently walking your left fingertips forward if it feels okay. Close the eye. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Deep breath in. Let go of any outside distractions. And 
then sliding your left palm in. Press into your hands and reach your right arm up. Make a couple circles with the palm. Just opening up the chest and the shoulder. And then sitting back on your heels. You're going to bring your right arm behind you and wrap it around the left forearm. And then dropping your left ear to your left shoulder. Just find that nice stretch through the side of your neck. And then letting your chin drop towards your left collarbone. Notice if you can access the stretch in a different place. Release your arms and then placing your palm to the side of your left cheek. Just lift your head back to the middle and take a moment to notice how you feel. And finding your way back to hands and knees. Wash it out with a gentle cat-cow. And then finding your way over to the other side. Bring your right hand forward. And then slide your left arm underneath you, palm facing up. Let your left cheek rest down onto the earth. And then gently shifting yourself forward and back until you find that sweet spot between your shoulders. Walk your right fingertip forward. Release any holding. And then closing the eyes. Another deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, one more time. And exhale. 
and sliding your right arm back. Press into your right hand and let your left arm open up towards the left side. And taking a few circles with the left arm, just release any holding that you might have. And sitting back onto your bum once again, we'll take our left arm, wrap it around our right tricep, and then gently dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. Feel a stretch through the left side of the neck. Tilting your chin down towards your right collarbone, feeling a little more. Releasing your arm. Pick up the side of the face with your right palm and lift your head back to center. Now we're going to do a chest and shoulder opener that can be quite intense and we will end up coming to the top of our head to stretch through the back of our neck and our shoulders. Now, if you have any neck stuff, just interlace your fingers and lift your chest. And if at any point you feel sharpness, tingling, shooting pain, that's a really good indicator that this pose isn't for you. But if you're wanting to come with me, it is safe. So let's do it. Interlacing your fingers behind your back. You're going to lean your body forward and let your forehead touch down like you're coming into child's pose and bringing your pinky fingers towards the front of your mat. Make sure there's a little bend in your elbows if you're hypermobile and you can stay like this. Or if you'd like to move a little bit deeper, lift your bum off your legs and start to roll onto the crown of your head. Continuing to extend your fingertips or your pinky fingers towards the front of your mat. Just allow yourself to relax here. This is one of the poses where it feels quite good when you come out of it, but not so great when you're in it. Be gentle and don't push too hard. And squeeze your shoulder blades together and let them neutralize. See how that feels.
gently shifting your weight back, bringing your bum towards your heels. Gently curl your way up, release your arms, and just notice how you feel now. Taking a few breaths to allow that to sink in. Walking your hands forward, I'm going to give you two options. So option one is puppy dog pose. So bring your fingertips as far as you can forward. And then drop either your chest and your chin low or your chest and your forehead low. And feeling that stretch through the armpits, the side body, the back of the arms. Now, if you'd like, a different variation. What I like to do is use my blocks. So I take my blocks on their second setting. And the way that I can tell that my shoulders are in alignment is I just drop my shoulders onto the blocks and make sure that the inside of the blocks are sort of lining up with my collarbone and bringing your elbows onto them. You can place your palms together and then allowing your hips to relax back. Let your forehead rest down and bring your thumbs to the back of your heart. You can walk your knees back a little bit. If you want a deeper stretch through the triceps, and just finding your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more time. And exhale. And if you're in the block variation, press your way into your elbows and climb your way up. And if you're in puppy dog pose, just gently walk your hands in. And then from either variation, bend into your elbows, lower chest and chin and come all the way down onto your belly. 
And then bringing your left arm out to the side in a cactus shape. Make sure that the elbow and shoulder are in line and the palm is facing down. Turning your nose to face the right so that your left cheek is rested. And then bringing your right arm beside you sort of as a stabilizer. We're going to take this pose in levels. So level one. You're going to bend your right knee up towards your right wrist. And just notice if you can find a stretch in the front of the chest. Level two. Rolling onto the left side. Start to feel st the stretch move deeper into the chest and the side body. Maybe stacking the knees. And level three, you can roll all the way onto your back, but I've never been able to get that far. So you do what feels right for you. If you'd like to, you can extend your right arm behind you and just let it sort of hang. Then closing the eyes, take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Deep breath in. Full breath out. One more time. And exhale. Soften your jaw. And then bringing your right arm down. Come all the way back onto your bell, belly. Turn your head towards the left and let your left arm extend out behind you. Moving into the same pose on the other side, bring your right arm into a cactus shape alongside your body, palm facing down. Make sure the elbow and the shoulder are in alignment. And then level one, just start to slide your left knee towards your left wrist and this might be enough. Or if you'd like to, sliding your right leg underneath your left and stacking your knees. Now this might be enough. Or if you'd like to, bring your left arm behind you and just allow it to hang. Feeling that stretch through the front of the chest. Make any adjustments that you need. 
And then when you feel ready, close your eyes and feel. And then gently rolling back down onto your belly. And bringing your arms alongside your body. Take your gaze to the left. And resting here. Now you can stay here for as long as you'd like. But when you feel ready, rolling over onto your back. Setting up. For Shavasana, bringing your feet wide and your arms alongside the body, palm facing up. Let your toes fall out to the side. Take any support you'd like underneath your knees or the back of your head. And taking a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. surface below you. Let your neck, the back of your head, your shoulders relax. Watch the rise and fall of your breath as it moves in and out of the center of your body. Watching your thoughts come and go, allow yourself to stay here. Watching for any twitches, tingles, shifts, releases. And just remembering that even if you have something to do right after this, right now is your time to rest, to stay, 
and be fully present. in that presence, just trying to bring in a feeling of calm, of well-being. And remembering that every day is different and everything is changing. And allowing yourself to release any control. If you want to stay for longer, you absolutely can. Beginning by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And making circles with your wrists and your ankles. And reaching the arms up above the head, pointing the toes away. Give yourself a beautiful full body stretch. Bend your knees and place your feet on the ground. And then rolling over to one side, using your arm as a pillow. Take a moment to check in. Check in with how you're feeling. Notice any differences in your body and in your breath. And remembering that intention, that dedication that you made at the start of class. And decide whether you want to leave it here or take it with you when you go. And finding your way up. Right where we started, Sukhasana, comfortable seated position. We'll circle our arms towards the ceiling, place the palms together in Anjali Mudra, and bring the thumbs to the forehead. May we think peaceful thoughts, the lips. May we speak words of kindness and compassion and heart center. May we love and be loved. Namaste. you feeling? Let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear your feedback. And thank you so much for practicing with me. It means the world to me that you guys tune in and honestly leave me a comment. I just like, I love to see you. I love to see who's on the other side of the screen because when I'm here it's just me and a bunch of lights by myself. And if you want to show a little extra support, remember you can always um, be transferred to my Patreon or just simply like and subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, share this with a friend. And if you want to connect on social media, it's at Maddie Likes to Move and ADI Likes to Move. And otherwise, I hope you have a phenomenal night and I'll see you for the next bit.